All right, what's up? Do you want an awesome 3D shoulder workout you can do at home using nothing but a light pair of dumbbells? Best thing, a workout that lasts less than seven minutes. If you do, stick around, watch this video, and I'm gonna take you through this workout. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with walkerfitmuscle.com. All right, here is a really cool workout that is designed to give your shoulders that 3D muscle look, all right? You are gonna focus on the front delts, the lateral delts, and the rear delts. Best thing, all you need is dumbbells, and it's only gonna take seven minutes. So, tremendous results, but you have to be prepared to work. It's very intense, all right? A very short, intense workout. Here's the next thing. You're also going to be utilizing a tricon exercise, a tricon set. So if you haven't done one of those before, then pay attention to how I do it. I'll explain it for you. There's tremendous benefits to doing a tricon set. It is a triple contraction set. So you're focused on working your concentric, eccentric, and also isometric uh, contraction. So that's the difference with these type of exercises. All right, that being said, here's the setup. This is a giant set, all right? You're doing four exercises with no rest in between each one. So you're going to be doing, you're gonna start with a tricon exercise, which is nine reps. Then you're gonna go into 12 reps for your second exercise, 12 reps for your third exercise, and then 12 reps again for your fourth. Okay, and 10 to 12 is the goal, but I, I believe in you. You're gonna do your 12 reps, all right? So here's the thing. We're gonna start with a dumbbell side lateral raise. Here is how the tricon is structured. If you notice on the dumbbell side laterals, the first three reps, I'm getting them up there in an explosive fashion, all right? Explode the weight up, control it on the way down. Explode it up control it on the way down and you're going to be doing that for the first three reps then you're going to get straight into your isometric holds the fourth rep all right you're going to go up not quite at the top position but the midway position as soon as you feel tension on those lateral delts the lateral heads of your uh, side shoulders that's where you're going to hold that weight relax your grip as well all right the all the tension should be on the outer uh, head of your Shoulders, if I can get it out. All right, and you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds, a legit 10 seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. All right, so you're gonna hold that rep for 10 seconds, bring it down under control, and then go straight back into your second hold. Another 10 seconds, okay? You're gonna do that three times. So three reps with 10 second holds. After the third, you're gonna come back to the starting position and you're gonna do your last three reps of this Tricon uh, set. And basically what that is, three super slow. So four seconds on the way up, four seconds on the way down, four seconds on the way up, four seconds on the way down. And you're gonna do that for three total. So the whole set itself is nine reps. Three explosive, three isometric holds, and then three super slow reps, okay? So as soon as you've done those, then you're gonna go straight into your next exercise, which is a bent over raise. You wanna work on those rear delts. The key with the bent over raise, couple things. One, hinge at the hips when you're going down. You don't want to just bend over and stay in that position because that's gonna put stress and strain on your lower back. So make sure you're hinging at the hips. Get those glutes back and then gradually bend into the position. Once you're there, Focus on driving with your elbows, all right? Not your hands, relax your grip once again, and allow those elbows to go out and slightly up, and then straight back to the starting position. Out and slightly up, back to the starting position, okay? You're gonna wanna do that for your 10 to 12 reps, and these are all immediate. So as soon as you've done your 10 to 12 reps there, you're gonna go straight into a front raise. Front raise, your palms should be facing one another. That's gonna help with some external rotation of your shoulders, try to eliminate some of the joint stress in those shoulders, okay? So palms facing each other, keep your core tight as well. You don't want to 
at the, at the very bottom. You don't want to arch your lower back. All right, so again, we're focused on keeping your core tight and your spine stable throughout all these movements. All right, so you're gonna do your 10 to 12 reps straight up and then control the weight down. All right, bring the weight straight up out in front of you, control the weight down. All right, so that's your third exercise in this giant set. Now you're gonna get into your fourth. All right, a lot of times you need to go heavier. You'll notice I'm switching the weights out. If you can't go heavier, if this is the first time you've done an exercise like this, a workout like this, and that's okay. Use the same weight because I'd rather you do it correctly, utilizing correct form, as opposed to just maxing out your weight, all right? But down the road, make sure you're really challenging yourself and using a weight that's going to allow you to grow and get stronger, all right? Here's the focus with this again. Keep your core tight. The difference here, if you'll notice my grip, it is more of a neutral grip even a slight supinated grip. My palm is slightly facing my face. Elbows are slightly out in front of my body, and we're gonna be doing these in an alternating fashion. All right, so bring both dumbbells up to the top, and then one side up, that side back down, then go to the opposite side up, opposite side down, all right? Slow and controlled when you're doing these for another 10 to 12 reps. So that's gonna be the end of your giant set. Those are the four exercises you're doing. No rest in between. So your shoulder should already be burning, all right? Here's the thing, rest 60 seconds, and then you're gonna do that whole thing again. So it's gonna take slightly three minutes each time. So there's your six minutes with your one minute rest interval in between. That's a seven minute workout. And it will give you tremendous results, all right? Your shoulders will start to grow and shape into that 3D looking um, shoulder, all right, that's so popular right now. And it's a really good looking shoulder because you're actually getting those rear delts involved. A lot of people neglect those, all right? So this is gonna allow you to really work those, fill your whole shoulder full of blood and lactic acid, which is also gonna push some growth hormone into those shoulders. But a lot of benefits to working out this way. One is the time, I mean, seven minutes. You can get seven minutes and dumbbells at home. It doesn't have to be heavy dumbbells. I use very light dumbbells, all right? So that's another benefit of doing the Tricon training. When you're doing the Tricon, you're pre-exhausting those shoulders, utilizing a light enough weight that isn't going to stress your joints. That's one of the main benefits of a Tricon set. So if you haven't done a Tricon set before, if you have any questions about how to do it correctly, and I didn't bring any clarification through this video, then you can also go to my website, uh, walkerfitmuscle.com. There's a couple articles there on Tricon training, my Tricon standard sets and my Tricon X sets. So hopefully that will help you. But even if not, come back here, comment below and let me know and I can get to your comment and try to bring some clarification for you. But I hope you like this channel. If you did, give me a thumbs up for this video. And as far as the channel, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, share it with some friends, share this video with some friends, all right, family members. And uh, if there's any other com content you want me to provide, any other type of videos that you want me to film as far as workouts, nutrition, motivational tips, whatever you need, let me know. I've been in this industry 30 years. I've trained thousands of people over that time. So I've got a lot of knowledge I can share with all of you, all right? So other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.